Good morrow. Hello. And I'm, good day. Good day. Hello. It's me. It's Craig. It's nice to see you. Welcome to a flooded uh, and a little breaking news story, uh, which is weird because I've just paid fifteen ninety nine to watch uh, No Time to Die on Amazon Prime, uh, and I quite liked it. To be honest with you, I thought the film was okay. Uh, I understand that a lot of people have got very upset about it because, like, oh, Miss Money Penny's black now. Oh, the new James Bond, and she's black and she's a woman. Uh, and uh, oh, oh, Q's gay. You know, stuff like that. People aren't too happy about. Well, why? Just calm down. I thought they did it all right and they did it well, and I thought it was a a little. It was a little messy in places for other reasons. I didn't. I think. I think they needed a mini boss uh, before you had the big boss fight, and I thought the boss was not really. Uh, a worthy opponent. It was just a bloke with a scarred face, um, and uh, I know the you know spoilers alert. By the way, I'm going to talk about James Bond and what happened in the last film. So if you don't want to know and you haven't seen it yet, you got to stop watching this video because in three, two, one, I'm going to be going straight into it. Three, two, one. Bond dies, and uh, quite definitely dies. There's no uh, ambiguity about it. He's blown to smithereens, and. Um, his the the kid in the film is his daughter, uh, who's about five, and he can't be with them because he is, um, he is poisoned with. Uh, if he touches those two people in particular, they will die immediately. So um, he realizes that he's totally toxic to his family, and therefore he uh, kind of sacrifices himself and. Doesn't want to live if he can't live. He can't live if living is without them. And uh, But there's some breaking news. Boom, 007 could be non-binary. Britain's most famous spy could in future be someone who considers themselves neither male or female, says Barbara Broccoli. Her name's not Broccoli, is it? I have to Google that. I, okay, I'll... I, okay, no, it is. It must be. Bro I didn't think it was literally broccoli. But okay, James Bond could identify as non-binary in future. All right, okay. Well, I mean, um, okay, what does that, does that mean gay? I mean, it means gay. Right? James Bond could be gay. Okay, I get it. Uh, Barbara Broccoli poured cold water on suggestions. The role could go to a woman. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, hold on, it can't be James Bond because James Bond's dead. So 007, they mean. Uh, uh, See, so this is the thing. What do they do with James Bond now? He's He dies. So they have to like, uh, that whole time, I think they're going to have to do a new character, new timeline. Does that mean new origin story as well? They could start him in Skyfall, and I think the next film will start with some kid running around Skyfall with 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 the evil brother Blofeld, adopted brother Blofeld, and uh, oh, I can't know what's going on there now, now, and all that sort of thing. Uh, is my speakers on? No, they're not. And um, so that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, I'm excited about James Bond. I'm particularly interested from a script writing point of view and a what on earth are you going to do point of view to see what they, they do because I think everyone's learned that uh, going woke does does lead to uh, poor sales. Uh, but maybe that's just something that's temporary. Maybe people just need time to adjust and so you just keep at it, you know. Um, the name... <laughs> so will he have the pronouns <laughs> them, they? Um uh, the names Bond, James Bond, pronouns them, they. He may be enduring, uh, he may be an enduring symbol of masculinity, but Britain's most famous spy could identify as non-binary future. Barbara Broccoli has poured cold water on suggestions the role could go to a woman, but in a new interview she conceded a future Bond could be non-binary. Someone who considers themselves... Well, she's not going to say, to be fair, absolutely not. Um, it would be I, For me, it would be tokenism, uh, it, but, you know, it depends if they were to do it. It depends how they do it. Uh, I don't really know what non-binary means. Uh, does that mean he's gender fluid? Um, I don't know how that would really work because he's quite definitely the character. Unless they're going to change the character completely, because he's definitely a very a very alpha male. The character's alpha male, and you know that's what we like. That's what I like. So uh, sometimes I feel like um, all these changes they're making to movies are for basically a few people on Twitter who are complaining. These are not the people who are buying the films or buying the merchandise or even going to the movies. They're just people who are aware these um, these epic you know brands exist out there and they want to have them changed. 
so to a certain extent, people like Barbara Broccoli has to I can't be her name has to um, has to give like pay lip service to them to say yeah yeah it's interesting yeah it could be non-binary blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I I would hardly ever uh, his it's um, if they do that we would have to we see him rolling around with women all the time in the sixties it was slappy body time. Uh, which obviously that can't exist. So changes get made anyway. You know, you don't. It doesn't. There's no behaviour like that anymore. So the Benny Hill aspect of it's gone, uh, and because uh, that just wouldn't sit properly in in now times. Um, but uh, the, uh, the 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 idea that he's going to like be rolling around with another man, uh, I don't know. I think I think I think that would be a big risk. Um, Although there would be people complaining about it because of like they would say, "Oh, it's just tokenism, it's wokeism." There's also sales of the film to other countries. Uh, you know, the Islamic world wouldn't be entirely embracing of a gay James Bond, and neither would um, uh, China. China, uh, so they would lose a lot of money. So, um, without putting aside all the wokery, uh, the actual these films are business, and if they don't make money. In all these countries, then there's problems. So this is what holds them back. Um, so you can only be progressive to a certain extent. And quite often, a lot of this progressiveness that we're seeing is, is virtue signaling. But quite often, also, um, it's happening very subtly. If, if, if you've got a good scriptwriter, it's subtle. You know, you kind of see it sort of seeping in. Or they just start cutting stuff out. They change the behavior by just not showing it anymore. But James Bond is a, a machismoistic, uh, a little bit of a chauvinist. Um, you know, he, 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 it takes a lot to impress him. He sort of sails through life, very cool, very calm, uh, and is a deadly killer. And he's like hyper intelligent, uh, and you know he's he's the hero, so he has to win. Um, so this was from a Girls on Film podcast. Uh, Miss Broccoli talked about the hunt to replace Daniel Craig, who is stepping down from the role after No Time to Die. Here she is. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, would it be a good idea for Double O Seven to be? Um, non-binary and maybe you can tell me because i'm dumb what non-binary means does that mean gender fluid or does that mean like you know like men and women which is bi educate me <laughs> educate me because i clearly need it uh thanks for uh, watching the video uh please uh do hit the subscribe if you want any more news and stuff about what's going on in television uh, reviews i'm just about i've just watched no time to die last night so it, it's incredible this story broke but uh i will be um i will be putting up a review i think of no time to die soon uh because uh there's a lot to say about it uh i am interested to know to know what they are going to do with the new james bond uh, and if you want to have a conversation about that, then put something down in the comment section and let me know, and we can start having a conversation about it. In the meantime, do hit the subscribe button, uh, and hit the wee bell if you want to know when I upload videos. I uh, always appreciate your support. Talk to me on Twitter at Flooded. Uh, until the next time, uh, I will say cheerio and cheery bye and fare thee well and have a lovely day. <laughs>